Welcome to this video against playing a Blitz game against Born in BC. What exactly does BC mean in this context? Hmm. Okay, we have a semi-slav type of position. He's playing um, with bishop e7 though. This is a somewhat ancient <laughs> way to to go about things. Solid, but also a bit passive. Hmm. Queen a5. Ah, that's a somewhat uncommon form of the Cambridge Springs. I mean, knight e4 he cannot play as e7 hangs. So what is he doing? h6 or I don't understand it. Okay. Many many ways to play. This prevents bishop b4. Maybe he wants to go h6, bishop h4, and g5. Hmm. It looks very strange though. Okay, here I can simply take right. Oh, my bishop on g5 is protected by the knight. There are no, no tricks. Okay, to h4. Yeah, yeah. I guess keeping, keeping the pin, keeping the pin alive. Hmm. That's a weird chess. <laughs> The queen on h5 in a queen's gambit declined. That's funny. Okay. It does not have many squares. Really not. Can go to a5 back, maybe. Hmm. I can just play e4 here or not. Now, now e5 is threatened and he yeah, cannot do that. Can take f6, take e what? Can also go to g3, yeah, it's also good. Or bishop e2, I mean, okay, but this, this looks very good, getting getting into this diagonal. So I'm setting up this, this very awkward pin. Yeah, what are you doing after bishop e2? Or is there or d5 already? Now uh, this is strong. It just threatens knight e5 and the queen, where should it go? There is really no <clears throat> no good square. Okay, if I take on e5, he needs to take with the bishop. Uh, hmm. Knight takes, knight takes, then f4, f4, f5. Tja, that, that's really overwhelming. Knight h4 to f5 is also very good. Uh, hard to say. It's both both strong. The only thing that that irritates me is that I'm not winning any material directly, or I'm I'm miscalculating terribly. Can 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 of course be possible. Uh, ah, I can actually also think about taking everything off and rook d8. But um, f f4 is really the the most logical move. Pushing <coughs> the knight away. Okay, so f5. <clears throat> and he must go to, to h7 probably. Queen, queen, yeah, this looks strange. Hmm. 
And now, what now? Bishop uh, rook d3 or what happens after h3, by the way? Knight e5. Hmm. Yeah, the queen is very close to being trapped, of course. Maybe start with this. I'm getting down on time. And I definitely don't want to lose this game after <laughs> after this funny funny play. Okay, king h2 intending g3 runs into knight g4 check. Which is uh, not very very nice. Mm, queen queen d2 d4 maybe. Yeah, or, or e3, bishop g3, something like that. Queen d4 is in itself a problem. The knight does not have any squares. Yeah, re retreating, theoretically speaking, or covering. But that's not really good. Queen d6 is also possible. Yeah, keep it simple. Check. Let's win the piece. Oh, or the queen. There was a piece lost Black anyway. Resigns. It was a very strange play. And I probably didn't even use it the best possible way. It really feels like I should should win a piece or something directly, but I didn't find it. Bishop g3 is the best and bishop e2 is also the best. Okay. And now taking, take, take, take. And now the computer stockfish is giving rook d6 plus three. Hmm. Rook d6. I don't understand the move. Rook d6, knight ed7, queen d1. Yeah, of course, white is overwhelming after rook d6, but not quite sure exactly what it is doing. Okay, but this is this also shouldn't shouldn't be any bad. Yeah, it's uh, of similar strength. And now rook d3 is uh, is given as best. But okay, this this should at least keep a very good edge. Yeah, plus two still. Yeah, and here it is just wins a piece. Knight h5 loses a piece. He must play this, which is of course passive, but but still keeps uh, everything together. Yeah, here black can hang on. It's 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 uncomfortable, but you can hang on. Rook um, on the third rank was was stronger here. Here rook rook d three. This being one important point, winning a piece. Okay, thanks for watching.